Hello once again, welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex. We're just going to run through our first visit to UNATCO HQ in the, what will be a non-combative section, easy to complete, but full of stuff to find and see and read and people to talk to. So, let's get moving. Listen to the music, it's awesome. Come on in. The retinal scanner can read blood vessel patterns right through your sunglasses. This is Scott. <clears throat> He's a window guy, so I'm gonna wait for his... I heard there was a lot of fighting topside. ...conversation options to exhaust. I couldn't hear a thing from down here. I guess someone's got to watch HQ. I couldn't hear a thing from down here. Okay, he's done for now. Retinal pattern match, Agent... Oh, sorry, I had my microphone away. Retinal pattern match, Agent Denton authorized for entry. Can't get in there. Remember that Mr. Manderley wants to see you. Level 2. His secretary, Janice Reed, has your login and password. Hell of a first day. Didn't know the NSF had so many people in New York. We'll finish the job when we get to Manhattan. It was quiet till sundown, then all hell broke loose. Hell of a first day. Bet the NSF won't try that trick again. Sergeant Michael Berry. Good work up there. We finally got to cap some rebels, eh, Denton? We finally got to cap some rebels, eh, Denton? We'll finish the job when we get to Manhattan. One of these has the office key in it, but I can't remember which. I think it's this. Didn't know the NSF had so many people in New York. The Western one. We'll find out. Yes, there we go. Under the desk is the office door key code, so we can unlock the other one without using another pick. Now we've got an accuracy mod in here, which I will, like my others, stick into the mini crossbow. There's a book. UNATCO Handbook. UNATCO and the Press. Because UNATCO will often deal with situations that cannot easily be contained, agents may unfortunately need to interact with the press. If you are not trained for such interaction, do not, repeat, do not, speak with journalists regardless of nationality. They are skilled in misdirection and propaganda. Refuse to comment, or refuse comment. Remember, security procedures are our first line of defense. Secrets save lives. Always refer reporters at crime scenes to UNATCO information officers and fact management teams. And there's a newspaper on the desk. Midnight Sun, U.S. Prez sells out. New York, President Philip Riley Meade's executive order repaying the United States debt to the United Nations is viewed by many as a positive step towards global peace, but others sense darker motives at work. Some sources have privately commented that the whole order that the order is nothing more than a tacit endorsement of a new world government and its private military, the United Nations Anti-Terrorist Coalition, UNATCO. <clears throat> Few can forget Meade's impassioned declaration that the shattered Statue of Liberty would not be repaired, but instead stand as a reminder that terrorism must be eradicated if we are to be free. It was shortly thereafter that Liberty Island was selected as the location of UNATCO headquarters, their dubious charter highlighted by the mysterious and still largely unexplained circumstances behind the statue bombing. No doubt President Meade's words will be remembered, even as he sells out his country to the foreign powers that have sought to destroy it for nearly three centuries. Joe Green, senior staff writer. Alright, that's it for this office. So let's go to the other one. Good work up there. We can unlock it with our key now. We can get back our lock pick. There's also a multi-tool on the bench. And I think that's it in here for this trip. These 
everywhere, everything in HQ will repopulate with stuff. Didn't know the NSF had so many people in New York. As time goes on, so down to level two. We, we will make Manderley's office our first stop, so let's go on in. Unatco closet key code added to the key ring, which means we can open the storage closets outside. We've got a data cube here. You're going to make a mess. Mr. Manderley, just FYI, your new password is night underscore killer. I know you led that mission in Paris against that old terrorist organization or whatever it was. Your login is still J Manderley, Janice. All right. Let's hack her computer Hey, now. I'm trying to work. Jay Manderley, re skull gun. Oh, this is Gunther's email. Let's read Janice's. Anon, re nobody cares. It's a copy of the email we already read on Kevin's PC upstairs. This one had access to. What's the idea, JC? J to my account, Jaime's account. I know I saw Gunther Herman's. I just need to make sure the others a computer will get to eventually. Yeah, Manderley's. Okay. So, as for Janice Reed's email, it's just another copy of that. <laughs> well, Janice's email is just another copy of the one about the federal regulation of the airlines that we saw on Private Lloyd's computer upstairs. Let's talk to Janice. Good work out there, Mr. Denton. Mr. Manderley said you handled yourself nicely. Welcome to UNATCO HQ. Our little family keeps getting bigger. Is Mr. Manderley available? Yes, go right in. By the way, your computer account is ready. Log in JCD, password Bionic Man. So we get our UNATCO login JCD password Bionic Man note. Let's talk to Janice now. He's waiting, JC. He's waiting, JC. All right, let's go on in. UNATCO Head of Operations, 250 skill points awarded, critical location bonus. Brings me up to 865. Long way to go. We got a book here. UNATCO Handbook, UNATCO and the Police. In carrying out their duties... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. In carrying out their duties, UNATCO agents often work with other law enforcement agencies. We remain a small, elite organization... Until our ranks expand, we must rely on the cooperation of local police, governments, intelligence agencies, and corporate security divisions. Always be courteous when requesting information or filing an extradition request. As our jurisdiction widens, we will inevitably experience conflicts with some local officials. Do not resort to unnecessary intimidation in these situations, and report any problems to the appropriate UNATCO liaison. Above all, an international law enforcement body requires the respect and support of all participating nations. The communicator has no new messages. There's another book on the desk. Grow up, JC. Project Dybbuk. Overview. Domination slash 5F clearance only. The noted failure of previous attempts to create a low-profile rotary aircraft involved the acquisition and retrofitting of available military hardware that had neither the range, ceiling, nor electromagnetic transparency to avoid numerous eyewitness accounts or unauthorized military interactions. In addition to exacerbating public misconceptions about governmental operations, such encounters also jeopardized several key missions. Project Dybbuk was initiated to address this issue through the creation of a stealth aircraft that could be used as a platform for a number of mission objectives. Now we can get in... Reporting for duty, sir. The man himself. Splendid. Do you accept my apologies about the situation, Topside? A refreshing change from the Academy, sir. Don't despise training, my boy. Even you would be worthless without the shaping touch of drills and studies. So the NSF took a shipment of the Ambrosia vaccine? Give me a chopper and a pilot and I'll handle it. <laughs> I'm sure you could. Yes, indeed. But we're having your brother head up the recovery team. You'll work with Agent Anna Navarra. Why don't we meet when you've seen Jaime for a medical checkup and received your equipment from Sam Carter? You'll be briefed at that time. Yes, sir. 
So our new goals, they're both secondary. See Sam Carter for equipment and see Jaime Reyes for a medical exam. <coughs> All right. The med center and armory are on level three. Let's talk Banderley to death. I've got work to do. Come back when you've seen Carter and Reyes. The med center and armory are on level three. We can hack his computer. We know his login is J Manderley, and we know his password is Knight underscore Killer. From G Herman, subject Skull Gun. Might I suggest again a skull gun for my head? Yesterday in Battery Park, some scum we all know pushes smack for NSF gets jumpy and draws. I take two 22s, one in flesh, one in augs, before I can get out that damn assault gun. If I could kill just by thought, it would be better. Is it my job to be a human target practice backstop? Gunther Herman. And from WS, our little experiment. Should be arriving soon. Clear it for Domination 5F Ops as soon as possible, but proceed with caution. We have serious concerns about the primary unit and would like to avoid any potential contamination. This went to J. Manderley and A. Navara. So did Gunther's, by the way. I've got work to do. There's a book on the desk. UNATCO Handbook, UNATCO and the Future. As science progresses at an ever-increasing rate, more and more advanced technology is finding its way into the hands of the common criminal, resulting in a deadly threat to life and property throughout the world. While it's impractical to restrict the free flow of information already present in the public sector, UNATCO is committed to ensuring that this threat does not go unaddressed. Even now, UNATCO research and development employs some of the most talented scientific minds in the world to develop proprietary technologies in absolute security for field use by our agents, including such innovations as the bl blank blank and blank or the life-saving blank. Under no circumstances should agents discuss any piece of equipment or technique currently employed by UNATCO. Agents operating contrary to this directive will face immediate disciplinary action. Within our laboratories lies not just the future of law enforcement, but a safe, secure future for all mankind. Document filtered per UNATCO Terror Monitoring Act 919-05 Section 4. Newspaper. Boot Camp for Betty, APR Portland. Madison High School junior Betty Souza will spend the semester at the Canyon City Boot Camp, say school officials. The crime? We have verified that she told another student that she knows how to make a bomb, said Principal Martin Gordley. <coughs> What makes this case notable is that the parents have filed a lawsuit against the school district. Our daughter wears black, said Father Brandon Souza in a prepared statement. She has an occipital jack and we let her use it to play games. We allowed her to get a tattoo when she turned 16, but none of this makes her a criminal. The parents claim that Betty was discussing a novel by Tom Robbins, taught at Madison High when the mention of explosives occurred. Betty Souza will not be alone in Canyon City. Last year, 15,234 young people served sentences in the state's FBI-run Good Behavior Camps, a legacy of the Northwest War. And let's check I've the bathroom. I've got work to do. There's another candy bar in here, and that's it. Let's head back out. Let's see if Janice has anything else to say. You've got to see Carter and Reyes before Mandalay can brief you. I guess the nano augmentation program is really about to take off. Welcome to the family. Most of the staff is on level three. Welcome to the family. So now we've got a key to the closets so we can open them. <coughs> this one we find a pepper cartridge. It's just ammo, so I'll take it. And this one, if you want to use a lock pick, you can get a bio cell from behind this grate. The pick is much more valuable than the cell to me, so I'm not going to. We finally got to cap some rebels, eh, Denton? Okay, those guys haven't changed. Let's go to our office now. It's this one here on the end. You found your office. Did Janice give you your login? Yes, I see here that she did. Uh, it was hard to see, but we got 50 skill points for coming in here, an area location bonus. Brings my total to 915. On my desk, there are a couple of books. UNATCO Handbook, UNATCO and the Public. In carrying out their duties, UNATCO agents often come in contact with the public. 
You are a peacekeeper and your first objective is to safeguard human life. Though terrorists may see an advantage in harming civilians, UNATCO agents do not. Issue a warning before firing at a suspect and always instruct bystanders to get down on the ground. Refrain from firing into large crowds. Every civilian hurt is collateral damage. However, keep in mind that no civilian with a clearance below Angel OA should be trusted and may be a potential spy. Anyone can be a spy, and secrecy is our ally. Remember, we're all in this together. The other book... UNATCO Handbook. Welcome to UNATCO. Classification. The UN has nine levels of security above top secret. This manual and all material that is not otherwise marked is classified as Angel OA. If you are not Angel OA or above, report immediately to your supervisor or face disciplinary action. Other classifications will be explained upon reaching higher clearance. In its efforts to combat terrorism, the UN has created UNATCO for the swift deployment of a coordinated force to counteract any insurgent operations. You are justifiably proud to be part of this organization. Your physical capabilities place you within the upper 1% of national ground combat units, while your mental capabilities have been honed to sharpness by the UNATCO Academy. But as part of a larger organization, you also understand the necessity to heed orders from your superiors without hesitation. Your superiors are typically briefed on matters for which you may not be cleared, and hesitation on the part of an agent can result in the serious impairment of mission objectives and attendant casualties. UNATCO has faith in you, and this faith will be rewarded in due time as your operational capacities are increased. Brave the darkness, for you carry the torch of freedom. And let's log into our computer. JCD, password Bionic Man, as we were told. From J. Reyes, subject, greetings and nanotech briefings. Hey Travis, guess I'll have to get used to calling you JC around the office. Not sure where they came up with that, but at least they gave you the same last code name as your brother. Anyways, whatever they're calling you, it's good to see a familiar name on the roster. <coughs> My first job here has been to read up on your augmentations. I'm beginning to see why you found classes so easy. Every neuron in your head has been augmented. For example, the voice in your head from an operator, someone here at HQ able to handle the scanning equipment in your skull and broadcast advice over your info link, leaps fully formed right into your temporal lobe, bypassing the eardrum and its sensory neurons. And it's perfectly inaudible to everyone around you, of course. Not to mention that the nanites clinging to your axons can both receive and transmit symbolic information, so if you ever need help, don't sweat it. Someone, to, someone at HQ probably already knows. Come by if you want to hear more. This is great stuff. Hi me. From J. Reyes. Subject, Nano Augmentation and You. It was sent to G. Herman, A. Navarra, and us. I was asked by the regional medical director to forward this information to all of you. I do so without further comment. Dr. Reyes. By now, you've heard about the upcoming transition to nano-augmentation. It's coming, but not as soon as you think. UNATCO has only one nano-augmented agent, with a second just now graduating from the academy. It will be years before the program leaves the laboratory. Your mechanical augmentations are not obsolete. Some agents express concern that they will be walking junk in ten years. One agent expressed their fears in an anonymous email saying, We'll be sold at flea markets, old grey golems for scaring the children. So what about my legs? What about my life? Seek. Keep some perspective. Prosthetics remain the only proven technology for enhancing human abilities. Those who make the sacrifice are appreciated, commended, and saluted as heroes. From Med Directorate, subject Nano Augmentation Stressors. Nano augmented agents will often encounter stress created by resentment among fellow agents, particularly those who have been mechanically augmented. In an effort to secure freedom and liberty for those under their protection, many UNATCO agents have chosen to sacrifice social acceptance for mission performance by surgically replacing limbs and organs with mechanically or electronically enhanced equivalents. But your nano augmentations point the way to the future. Thousands of microscopic, living, organic machines that exist in symbiosis with your body. Because such augmentations create only minimal disfigurement, they are likely to be a source of friction between you and other mechanically augmented agents. But it is important to understand that UNATCO is an organization where individuals must act in concert. Each is important to the whole, and mutual understanding is essential to teams comprised of diverse human and augmented agents. If you have any further questions or wish, wish to discuss these issues, please feel free to send email to carverschells slash slash unatco dot four three five two dot seven six eight to make an appointment. And welcome to UNATCO, Agent. Let's go to the break room next. That'll finish off level two. 
We've got a book. UNATCO Handbook. UNATCO and the World. For far too long, terrorists have exploited international tensions and regional legislative variations to elude authorities. A significant step was made towards eliminating these legal loopholes when U.S. President Philip Riley Meade lobbied the Congress to make the U.S. a UNATCO member nation. Enough is enough, he declared in his landmark State of the Union address, and the citizens of the United States responded with enthusiastic endorsement of his position. Not only did the United States become a charter member of UNATCO, but UNATCO headquarters are now located on Liberty Island in the shadow of that shattered monument to freedom. UNATCO deals not only with terrorist threats, but also any transgressions of the international legal code, including drug trafficking, software piracy, and money laundering. With the full support of the United States, UNATCO was, for the first time, able to truly declare itself the world's policeman. Let's talk to this guy. JC. Mind if I call you JC? Glad to have you aboard. Just making the rounds. Save a few for the grunts next time, JC. Glad to have you aboard. Glad to have you aboard. I'm trying to read what's written on the board. I think that says suspect. I can read. Tracer Tong, Robert Page, Max Chen, Jojo Fine. That's all I can read on there. There's a map of the island here. Paris, Hong Kong, Nevada. Margaret Chow, that's the third one down. Robert Page Industries. What's Ambrosia? Who's JoJo's boss? Huh, I've never been able to read that before. Organizations, Bavarian Illuminati. NSF. There's one that's crossed out. Save a few for the grunts next time, JC. I can't read the middle one, but that word is research. Anyway, in here, this I think is worth getting. Tranquilizer darts, flare darts, and regular darts. So I'll go ahead and pick the cabinet open. Mostly for the trank darts, but the others can be useful too. There's nothing in here. Let's go into the kitchen. Listen to one of the game's most famous conversations. Are you sure you pressed the right button? I do not make mistakes of that kind. Your hand might have slipped. No, I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. The machine would not make a mistake. It's the maintenance man. He knows I like orange. So you think the staff has some kind of plot? Yes, they do that on purpose. Let's read this newspaper. Midnight Sun, Mead from Mars, Cape Canaveral. NASA scientists confirmed that the eroded remains of the Alba Patera crater on Mars precisely matched the face of President Mead. It's him, declared senior planetary specialist Kevlar Umla. There's his nose, that ridge, see? See the crater rim marking his hairline? The way he combs his hair appearing in this region of parallel valleys? The White House had no comment. However, Martin Wisdom, president of EA, Enemies of Aliens, told Midnight Sun, This is the evidence we have been looking for. A warning that Mr. Meade is not human. He is probably a Martian general, a war hero, come here to conquer the Earth with the assistance of the United Nations. Ryan Allen, staff writer. Now, let's talk to these two. Forget how Agent Navarra is not friendly. She has every life to give for her partner. You should get moving. I will not forget a favor. Always have trust for me. Forget how Ada Navarra is not friendly. She has every life to give for her partner. My new partner, J.C. Denton. Don't tell me you're going to wear those sunglasses during a night operation. My vision is augmented. At least it is a way that we know when it's not foul. 
Forgive my interruption. I just wanted to say that I look forward to working with you, Agent Navarra. Could you tell me how to find Jaime's office? I do not expect you to perform as well as Agent Herman, but the mission will require us to do more than frighten the NSF with our baggy coats that make us look bigger than we really are. I am prepared to perform my duties. He will not be the equivalent of his brother. I have seen that he knows the procedure of a good offensive. Let us hope you are right. I won't let you down, Agent. I am not going to hold your hand. You have your orders. I am not going to hold your hand. All right. You have your orders. Let's hack the ATM right quick. We can get 150 credits out of here, so let's do it. Now let's read the public computer terminal. Please choose a bulletin to view. Terrorism, crime, or conscience. The question must be asked, is the global rise of terrorism a haphazard response to a decimated economy or is there a pattern? Does UNATCO face coordinated ideological opposition? Some groups, Silhouette in France for instance, have declared a meme war or war of meanings in their terminology. They spread email and pamphlets that lampoon the UN's proposal for a one world democracy, a tedious exercise in rudimentary propaganda. With sophistries and doublespeak, they portray freedom as obedience, democracy as tyranny, and UNATCO as the perpetrator of terrorism, an idea as shocking as it is reprehensible. Other organizations, such as the self-proclaimed Revolutionary National Secessionist Forces NSF in the U.S., claim allegiance to the meme war, but are in fact no better than common criminals. They desire territory and wealth at the expense of society at large. Their civil war is merely a smokescreen for criminal activity. Any population can be quickly turned against such revolutionaries simply by educating them about the UN's policies and goals. Joseph Manderley, Director, UNATCO. Terrorism. Threat Profiling. <laughs> Excuse me. Symbolic attacks, the Statue of Liberty bombing, the desecration of the Soviet War Memorial in Berlin, the department, shore shooting, the department store shooting sprees on Orchard Road in Singapore, are the recourse of the weak. They serve only to call attention to a group or cause that is of no more than marginal interest to the public. But what distinguishes true terrorist activity is its gradual escalation towards genuine acts of war. Fringe groups now have access to technology that allows direct assaults on governments, including the classic trio of nuclear, biological, or chemical weaponry, NBC. But aside from direct assaults on a nation and its people, indirect attacks can cause considerable collateral damage. Rogue, rogue software can disrupt financial markets, communications, and military operations, while encryption programs allow terrorists to coordinate smuggling operations in secret right over the net. Drugs, guns, illegal immigrants, and even heavy equipment such as armored vehicles and cruise missiles are routinely traded across borders, aided and abetted by such software. UNATCO, the first organization with the technology, manpower, and authority to cope with such threats, is an idea that is long overdue. Joseph Manderley, Director, UNATCO. <sighs> know your enemy, NSF. The National Secessionist Forces, NSF, remain a very real and increasingly widespread terrorist threat. Ten years ago, in response to the Sporting Weapons Act of 2042, splinter groups from nearly every state militia refused to surrender their rifles, grenades, landmines, and other collectibles prohibited by the act. Unified under the charismatic leadership of Leon Woods, these isolated fanatics eventually formed the NSF with Woods assuming the rank of general. Their intended goal, the liberation of Washington, Montana, Oregon, and Northern California. While Woods died during his infamous last stand in 2045, his war machine continues what can only be termed an occupation of the United States, aided by an encrypted network designed by dissident computer scientists from San Francisco and Seattle. Currently, the UNATCO Cryptography Division has had minimal success in cracking their communications, requiring more direct intelligence gathering techniques to be utilized. The UN has declared war on the NSF. Know your enemy, Silhouette. Famous for inserting 20th century style commercials into the net broadcast of the World Cup in 2050, Silhouette favors feats of spectacle over violence. Printed circuits, part of this nutritious breakfast, the announcer told children in one of the World Cup commercials, you ain't mech till you eat mech. 
a mech boy chews a memory chip. Boys who eat organics get stomped by their post-human classmates. Mech boy in Unatco helmets and metal boots take turns kicking another boy. Despite their numerous pranks, these intellectuals, artists, and labor organizers pose a serious threat. They are well armed and have been linked to the murders of numerous European politicians and journalists. They will not hesitate to use lethal force. Know your enemy, the Triads. Inako surveillance of Hong Kong is currently a high priority given the renewed threat of Chinese organized crime in the form of the Triads. Despite being a model of prosperity and technological leadership for decades, Hong Kong persists as a haven for organized crime. The Triads, namely the Luminous Path and Red Arrow, vie for control of the 10, million cre 10 trillion credit shipping business, much of which supplies Greater Asia with pirated technology, illegal drugs, and weapons. Most disturbing of all, the Triads preach an, ethnic of tech and preach an ethic of techno-piracy that has found enthusiastic support among small shopkeepers and businessmen who often aid the gangsters and buy their bootlegged software. Gullible and greedy, this army of middlemen remain insensitive to how their violations of intellectual property and copyright laws damage the global information economy. Know your enemy, other threats. UNATCO operatives have identified over 1,250 terrorist organizations active in the world today, some too small to currently present a serious threat, but all eager to see one or more governments topple. Groups such as the Templars, Europe, and X-51, Western U.S., will be dealt with in subsequent volumes of Know Your Enemy. Sweet. <clears throat> That's it for level 2, so let's head down to level 3. Nothing out here. Let's talk to this well, guy. That was a close one up there. I don't like getting shot at. Not one bit. Thank God my shift is almost over. I didn't know we'd be fighting a war. I don't like getting shot at. Not one bit. Let's check the men's room. I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, there's some cigarettes. Now, for one of the more famous... Uh... Aspects of this game. I didn't know we'd be fighting a war. Let's go into the women's room. How unprofessional. Expecting a show. Don't think I won't report this. How unprofessional. There's nothing in there except Shannon. Let's go to the west first. Before we see Sam Carter, let's go to this office. Where, this is Gunther and Anna's office, and the prison cells are back here, too. In their office, you can find some darts on the shelves. Get your checkup on level 3, and let's get going. I am not going to hold your hand. You have your orders. There's a bioelectric cell on their table. This newspaper, Mass Grave in Brooklyn, APR, New York. Responding to an outbreak of Grey Death that quickly overwhelmed all city services, National Guard forces were placed under the command of local law enforcement today and mobilized to help with disposal of the recently deceased in Brooklyn. However, the National Guard soon proved inadequate in containing the chaos, and in many cases, the dead were simply left lying in the streets while the dying, mostly homeless, wandered the city until collapsing. Traffic jams and looting remain widespread, and as fear of the disease continues to escalate, frequent riots have made any attempt at an organized cleanup impossible. With the threat of secondary diseases looming, city officials have consulted with the CDC in Atlanta and ordered a mass grave to be dug in Gateway National Park. Now, I'm not going to mess with the computer yet because we can find one of the passwords, so let's just continue back to the cells, where there are a couple of troopers to talk to. Way to go, sir. Gunther should have followed orders. I think we already heard this. I can't wait to get to New York yep. and finish the job. Situation normal, sir. Gunther should have followed orders. That's it. We can't get the terrorists to talk to us. He just hangs out in there. Go ahead and see Sam Carter while I'm back here. We get 50 skill points, Unatco Quartermaster, the subject acquisition bonus. You can see a lot of goodies back there, but there's no way into the armory just yet. At ease, Agent Denton. General Carter, I read about the Merced operation in school. This is a great honor. I'm not a general anymore. Just call me Carter. I can't believe what the NSF did to your family. Enough of that, soldier. We each have our troubles. 
I lost my children, but you've had to grow up without your parents, which requires more courage. I don't think it matters. My parents died in a car accident. That's different. I said that's enough. You have your own op and time is short. How about I issue you a stealth pistol? That sounds fine. Thank you, sir. What else do you think you'll need? Let's take the lockpick. A smart lockpick is always handy. That's right. Infiltrate and evade. Engage only on your own terms. Now move out. Manderley's waiting. Hey, what about that guy out front selling munitions? Is that allowed? Oh, Captain, right. We've got some screwballs around here, but he's not the problem. It's whoever's been breaking into the armory. Someone at Unaco's a thief? Yes, sir. And a damn good one. So I'm gonna wait until he finishes talking. Oh, wait. I managed to highlight him for just a second there. No time for chit chat. Well, let's just let him, let him talk. Wait. No time for chit chat. The NSF are in retreat. You better get going. No time for chit chat. That's it. All right. We'll go talk to Alex Jacobson next. You're getting warm. There's a book in here. It's another copy of the Project Divic book. Now, it's not on a data cube, but you can get Jacobson's password by looking around here. Speculative Fiction Resource Trade Show, April 25th through April 28th, the Page Convention Center. Guest speaker, Calvo. So if we jump on his computer and we type A. Jacobson, the password is Calvo. From Warlord, subject, whoop-ass. Hey man, get your occipital jack fixed yet? You've got to check out the Strike 4 demo. Whole motor control, total visual occlusion. Man, fireballs burn your face, walls hurt when you hit them, tactile textures everywhere, volumetric humidity. What are you waiting for? Don't give me that national security crap. Jack in so I can whoop your ass. Cracks. From Jay Manderley, subject, network security. Thank you for keeping me informed of the recent hacker activity and your speedy response to same. I'm glad our security efforts were up to snuff. I managed to stop the guys. Actually, it was some French chick the CIA's been watching, perhaps a silhouette spy, trying to break into the net, but I took the liberty of changing some passwords just in case. Here are the new ones. A. Navarra, Scris PC, G. Herman, Zeitgeist, J. Manderley, Knight underscore Killer, J. Reed, Red Shoes, J. Reyes, Amigo, S. Carter, Antique, me, Calvo. You should probably delete this as soon as you're done reading, okay? That makes it easy. We have everyone except Kevin's now. From A. Jacobson, Locker Code 2001. Well, good. Saves us the use of a multi-tool. You're red hot. Looks like you found me. Let's read this data cube. Change G. Herman password to Zeitgeist. Next week, I guess it'll be Schadenfreude, strange guy. Newspaper. Midnight Sun. Gray death. Look to the sky. New York. No student of recent history can fail to miss the irony that the greatest enemy mankind has faced in the 21st century was not any despot or dictator, but the lowly microbe. Millions upon millions have been killed by the pandemics of AIDS, resistant tuberculosis, and the century flu, and now we face our greatest threat yet, the Grey Death, a plague of devastating efficiency that has surfaced in the last year. But was this plague an accident of nature or a design of science? Dr. Kenji Ishii of the New World Biomedical Health Center in New York thinks not. My analysis of this plague indicates that it is decidedly unnatural in origin, and in point of fact, may be extraterrestrial. He went on to speculate about those afflicted. Obviously, an, a disproportionate number of the indigent seem to be infected, a situation that makes perfect sense if you consider it prelude to an invasion. No more effective way to disrupt the social, political, and military fabric of Earth has yet been devised. If this is so, then what are our leaders not telling us? And how can we be prepared? Only they know the answers. Joe Green, senior staff writer. So, we know the code is 2001 from Alex's email. In here, we can find a biocell and a lockpick. And before we go talk to him, there's a secret panel in the floor. If you open it up and head down here, you can find different things down here at different times. 
This time you can find 30-06 ammo. Okay, yeah, that's everything. And over here, you have another copy of the office door key code and another scope. I will put... Well, it's not like I can sell it or anything, so I might as well put the scope on my pistol just to get rid of it. I'll put the clip modification in the pistol too. It's not like I have anything else to do with it. The stealth pistol I don't really want to carry around with me, so I'm just gonna drop it. With that done, let's go talk to Alex right quick. I could have sworn there was a multi-tool in here somewhere. Maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. Let's talk to him. <laughs> like leading a mouse to cheese. This thing is starting to give me a headache. Don't worry, we shut it down when you go off duty. I guess I'll get used to it. I'm Alex Jacobson, communications engineer. I suppose you already know who I am. Getting there. You're certainly quicker on the uptake than your brother Paul ever was. Thanks. Don't worry, I'll be watching your back. It'll be interesting to see how the transmission sounds in Manhattan. I bet I could jack you into an online jukebox. We'll have to try that. I bet I could jack you into an online jukebox. We'll have to try that. Let's read this data cube. Okay, enough goofing around. It's another copy of the... Uh, code for the com van. We're done in here, and now we know Anna and Gunther's passwords, so let's go read their emails. A little more decorum, please. So we'll do Anna's first. A Navarra, password SCRYSPC. From G Herman, subject Skull Gun. We've seen that email already. From J Manderly, re Skull Gun. I have personally forwarded your request to appropriations. Upgrading our combat readiness is an ongoing priority. Speaking of which, you certainly made the best of a difficult situation yesterday. We applaud your courage. Thank you for living to work another day, Gunther. We need more agents like you, JM. From G. Herman, subject, Dinosaurs. See, what do I tell you? Manderly will be happy to have the garbage truck take me back to Deutschland. Now especially with the new nanowog already arriving. We are the old computers the Americans call dinosaurs. See if I ever get a skull gun at all. Gunther. Another copy of the nano augmentation and you email that we already read on JC's computer. And from J. Manderly, subject, our new recruit. Travis Whitsitt will be joining us today after his stint at the Academy, and I'm assigning the both of you the task of keeping a watchful eye on him while monitoring his progress. His assigned cover name for the duration of his service will be J.C. Denton. We thought it would be best to keep the cover names within the family, since Paul has already received the Denton codename. I have great faith in you both, and trust you will do your utmost to ensure that he becomes a successful and productive member of this organization. Until further notice, I'd like to receive weekly reports with your observations, JM. A little more decorum, please. Now we'll do G Herman, password Zeitgeist. We've got another copy of the Skull Gun Reply, another copy of the Nano Augmentation in You, and another copy of the New Recruit email. Nothing we haven't already read. So that just leaves Reyes. 50 more skill points, UNATCO Medical Office, Area Location Bonus. So, let's let's uh, check out our AUG canister. Let's read about the two augmentations. Microfibril muscle occupies slot arms. Muscle strength is amplified with ionic polymeric gel myofibrils that allow the agent to push and lift extraordinarily heavy objects. Tech 1, strength is increased slightly. Tech 2, strength is increased moderately. Tech 3, strength is increased significantly. Tech 4, an agent is inhumanly strong. Energy rate, 20 units per minute, current level 1. Or, combat strength, occupy slot arms. Sorting rotors accelerate calcium ion concentration in the sarcoplasmic reticulum, increasing an agent's muscle speed several fold and multiplying the damage they inflict in melee combat. 
Tech 1, the effectiveness of melee weapons is increased slightly. Tech 2, the effectiveness of melee weapons is increased moderately. Tech 3, the effectiveness of melee weapons is increased significantly. Tech 4, melee weapons are almost instantly lethal. Energy rate, 20 units per minute, current level 1. I'm going to choose microfibril muscle. It helps us a lot getting around to different areas if we can lift heavy things, so... With that done, let's see what all we can find in here. We've got a data cube. Janine's Bots, Specs and Overview, Matsu Gravis GV4 Nightingale Medical Bot. The Matsu Gravis GV4 is the newest addition to the MG line, their first foray into the medical bot category largely monopolized by Page Industries and Xiang subsidi subsidiary Healtech. Unlike the competing Page or Healtech units, the MG GV4 benefits from a completely proprietary operating system developed at MG's research campus in Prague that promises to revolutionize automated healing by combining a comprehensive medical and pharmaceutical database with MG's already proven autonomous heuristic routines. While actual field data is sketchy at this point in time, anecdotal evidence suggests that the GV4 can heal wounds far beyond the capabilities of any other competing model, though it does require a substantial recharging period. And another book, Inaco Med Directorate, Nano Augmentation Guidelines. Nano augmentations, once installed, irrevocably alter the physiological system they affect, and in many cases cause all subsequent augmentations to be rejected. <coughs> However, the exact number of augmentations each system can support varies. The various interdependencies between these systems can be seen in the following table. The details that details possible nano augmentations, nano augmentation combinations. Arms, combat strength or microfibril muscle. Legs, speed enhancement or run silent. I'll probably take run silent. Subdermal 1, EMP shield or ballistic protection. Subdermal 2, Cloak or Radar Transparency. I haven't made up my mind between Speed Enhancement or Run Silent yet. I actually might take Speed Enhancement because it also lets you jump higher and gives you more options for getting around. Uh, for Subdermal 1, I'll definitely take Ballistic Protection. For Subdermal 2, I'll definitely take Cloak. Torso 1, Aqualung or Environmental Resistance. I'll take Environmental Resistance. Torso 2, Regeneration or Energy Resistance. Regeneration is obvious. Torso 3, Synthetic Heart or Power Recirculator. Probably take the Power Recirculator to minimize power drain when I'm doing things like cloaking. Cranium, Aggressive Defense System or Spy Drone. I'll take Spy Drone, it's awesome. It's like regenerating EMP grenades as long as you have the energy. And Optics, Targeting or Vision Enhancement. I'll take Vision Enhancement, it's much better than targeting, although neither one are particularly good. Specific nano augmentation should be selected based on the mission profile of the particular agent. So before we actually visit Jaime, let's go down here right quick. We find a restricted area with a retinal scanner that we cannot get through. So up here, if we come in the other way, human eye augmentation. Sweet. There's another book in here. Unatco Handbook. Dedication. Nihil Aliud Sit Skit. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce Latin, but I think it's Nil Aliud Sit Necessitas Quam Vincer. Cyrus. I don't know what that means. Someone should tell me in the comments. We search the terrorist. We find throwing knives, which I don't feel like carrying around, so. But I, I do need to read about them now that I think about it. Throwing knives, weapon stats, ammo type, NA, base damage, 15 plus 10% equals 16, clip size, rate of fire, reload time, all NA, recoil 0.0, .0. base accuracy, 55% plus 5% equals 60%, accurate range, maximum range, NA, mass, 10 pounds, laser sight, scope, silence are all NA, skill, weapons, low tech. A favorite weapon of assassins in the Far East for centuries, throwing knives can be deadly when wielded by a master, but are more generally used when it becomes desirable to send a message. The message is usually, your death is coming on swift feet. And I almost forgot, I think I dropped it in his secret room, but we want to read the flavor comments about the stealth pistol, even if we're not going to use it. Weapon stats. Ammo loaded, 10mm ammo, ammo type, 10mm ammo, base damage, 8 plus 10% equals 8. 
Clip size 10 rounds, rate of fire single 6.6 .6 rounds per second, reload time 1.5 seconds, recoil 0 0.10. You'll notice the base damage is much lower than the normal pistol. Base accuracy 60% plus 5% equals 65%. Accurate range 150 feet, maximum range 300 feet, mass 10 pounds, laser sight no, scope no, silencer NA, skill weapons pistol. The stealth pistol is a variant of the standard 10mm pistol with a larger clip and integrated silencer designed for wet work at very close ranges. And another thing I neglected to do, flare darts. Mini crossbow flare darts use a slow burning incendiary device ignited on impact to provide illumination of a targeted area. That's everything. Now we're, I think, about ready to go talk to Jaime. If you're thorough, you can get almost everything out of here without using any lockpicks or multi-tools. Behind his plant, the med lab closet key code is added to our nano key ring. So we can open this up. All that's usually in here is med kits. But why not? Let's grab one. Now let's read this book. Careful. UNATCO Handbook Appendix A, Origins of UNATCO. In recent years, the swelling tide of international terrorism coupled with enmity between states, wildly varying laws, and an anachronistic devotion to arbitrary borders has resulted in the decreasing effectiveness of local law enforcement. To resolve the problem, a neutral agency was required to enforce international law in an impartial manner around the world. UNATCO was formed with just such a mission in mind, an organization that could transcend national boundaries and provide security for all nations that subscribe to its charter. Founded with the principles of the United Nations as its cornerstone, UNATCO is fair, just, and protects the individual liberties of all the citizens of the world. The criminal thrives on anonymity, but soon there will be no place for them to hide. Victory over terrorism is the prize for our vigilance. Now let's talk to Jaime. Hey, JC. You look like the real thing. They actually let you operate on people? Just fix Gunther's knee, in fact. A sticky actuator. So far, I feel more like a mechanic than a doctor. I'm impressed. They actually let you point a gun at people. We'll have to catch up later. I've got to leave for New York right away. Could you send Manderley whatever it is he wants? No problem. Listen, JC, about your augmentations. You know they're preparing to roll out the technology worldwide, right? As long as I don't turn green and grow a pair of antennas, as I understand it. Yeah, well, the design's pretty modular, which means you'll soon have access to upgrades from standard augmentation canisters. Great. Have anything for me? Not yet. But remember, if you find one of these canisters, then you need a med bar for installation. I'll do that. The canisters contain a colloid of ROM modules. Some are generic upgrades, others require you to make permanent choices about how to configure one of your subsystems. It's about time they implemented some of this stuff. Report to Mandarin. He told me to send you back to him on the double. So, our new primary goal is to go to Manderley's office on level 2 for the mission briefing. One more thing before I go, since you've been briefed on my augmentations. What can you tell me about the info link? Let's see, micro-receiver exostructure in the sulci, mechanocarbon threads on the axons. For queuing, you know, packet routing. Anything particularly interest you? Is there a way to turn it off? The info link? Yeah, or is someone at UNACO tuned in 24 hours? This might sound a little funny, JC, but I'm not permitted to answer that question. Your clearance is higher than mine? Regarding your systems, I am your physician. No big deal. I was just curious. I wouldn't keep Manderley waiting if I were you. His office is on level two. You better head out. I think there's a med kit in the storage closet. I wouldn't keep Manderley waiting if I were you. His office is on level two. So thanks to Jacobson's email, we know the login is J. Reyes and the password is Amigo. From G. Herman, subject, bad knee. Dr. Reyes, welcome. UNATCO is having a need of a good surgeon. Which let me add, I have a big pain in my knee. Sticking actuator? I can't fix it no matter how much lubricant. Please inform when an appointment can be made available. Gunther Herman. And from Med Directic, from Med Directorate, subject, nano augmentation briefing. 
As a medical specialist, you will be required to repair and modify the systems of our nano-augmented agents. This briefing is intended merely as an introduction to the technology. You'll notice, though, that the clearance is Principal 2C, which apparently is higher than ours. The cells of every major tissue in the body of a nano-augmented agent are host to nanite capsid hybrids. These hybrids replicate in two stages. The viral stage, in which the host cell produces capsid proteins and packages them into hollowed viral particles, and the nanotech stage, in which the receiver transmitter and CPU are duplicated and inserted into the protective viral coating. New RNA sequences are transmitted by microwave and translated into plasmid vectors, resulting in a wholly natural and organic process. Additional augmentations can be added through the use of microscopic ROM modules, shaped a little like flying saucers, that diffuse through the blood and attach to the long spine of nanite CPUs. These additional augmentations are software upgrades in the most literal sense of the word. We hope this report gets you started. You will find a full technical design document attached. Please read and thoroughly understand this information so that you will be better qualified to administer care to this most exciting new breed of augmented human agent. You better head out. Now we'll head back upstairs. I don't think anyone has anything new to say now. Don't worry, I'll be watching your back. Yeah, he just has the two candy bars. See Manderley on level 2 and let's move out. I am not going to hold your hand. The NSF are in retreat. You better get going. That was a close one up there. Now I'm a big fan of not having to have They're it. waiting for you, Agent. Go on in. You better not keep them waiting. You better not keep them waiting. J. Reed, password is Red Shoes. That will be JC's job. What's that? Power station. The NSF have Ambrosia in a warehouse protected by cameras and booby traps. We want to power down the whole system. We're taking one illicit generating plant. Protected by weak groups of NSF. Knock out that plant, and Paul's team can walk right into the warehouse. Just tell me where it is. The NSF are openly resisting our deployed forces, gradually falling back. You have to deal with them first. And you be ready, Paul. When the power drops, go in and go in hard. I'll use my discretion. Go in like the U.S. Marshals. We lose the vaccine, I'm sending your butt to the mayor to explain why he and his three daughters won't get their pills this month. Yes, sir. Let's not waste any time, JC. Get down to the dock. A boat is waiting to take you and your partner, Anna Navarro, to shore. Yes, get moving. Here's your op bonus for the great job you did in the statue, plus 250 for rescuing Agent Herman. That's 1250. We take care of our people around here. Thank you, sir. By the way, Denton, stay out of the ladies' restroom. That kind of activity embarrasses the agency more than it does you. There's that. So our new goal is go to the South Dock and take the police boat to Manhattan. Pretty straightforward. We'll meet up in the city. Paul is reluctant to talk to me again. Like he doesn't want to say anything else. Hmm, let's talk to Mandy. I've come to admire your partner. She's one of our best. Leave from where you arrived, Denton. The boat dock. Move it. Move out, soldier. Move out, soldier. Yeah, Paul's not going to say anything else. They're really excited to have you, JC. Oh boy, the moment of truth. They're really excited to have you, JC. So there won't be any more changes, so... Well, that was a close one up there. I just want to make sure no one's changing. Don't think say. I won't report this. See if anyone says anything new before I actually ship out. It'll be interesting to see how the transmission sounds in Manhattan. 
go. You better head out. I think there's a med kit in the storage closet. Nope. A pistol is more than adequate. Hell, I dispatched a whole platoon one time with a pocket knife. A pistol is more than adequate. Hell, I dispatched a whole platoon. I am not going to hold your hand. You have your... Situation normal, sir. I can't wait to get to New York and finish the job. All right, nothing new down here. So I guess we just need to visit the guys on our way out. I didn't know we'd be fighting a war. Glad to have you aboard. Save a few for the grunts next time, JC. Forget how Agent Navarra is not friendly. She has every life. Bet the NSF won't try that trick again. Hell of a first day. Alright, out we go. Wish I was going with you. See if Scott says anything else. I guess someone's got to watch HQ. I guess someone's got to watch HQ. Alright, that's it. Here comes the map change. We'll head upstairs, we'll talk to Private Lloyd. Good luck out there. Man, two Dentons in the field. The NSF won't know what hit them. It's my first day, too. I'm pretty excited. I was in your class at the Academy. You probably don't remember. Any more cleaning house to do when we... Ch I'll check back with... He's still trying to sell me stuff. <clears throat> Way to go, sir. Gunther should have followed orders. I don't think anyone out here is going to say anything new either. But I'll check, cause... Good luck, Agent. Believe it or not... Hit him hard, sir. We never get to come back Take to care, Liberty... care, sir. We never get to come back to Liberty Island. Be careful, Agent. The city's an NSF hotbed. He is saying new stuff. Good luck with Agent Navarra. She's a handful. We already have units in Manhattan. This isn't over yet. I'd sure like to find out what this was all about. Heck of a first day, sir. Now I know where everyone is, so I can just run up the statue real quick. All quadrants are secure. Good luck with Agent Navarra. She's a handful. We already have units in Manhattan. This isn't over. I'm only doing this because we don't get to come back to Liberty Island. From now on, we'll be traveling in and out of UNATCO HQ via helicopter, and the rest of the island will be under lockdown, so this is your final opportunity to check it out. I wonder if the commander is still up here. Nope, they're gone. Down we go. Out the front. Make one last trip to the Take North care, Dock. Sir. Make extra specially sure I don't want anything that female bum is selling. <clears throat> so 
means I'll never see her again either. Sure you can't buy some ammo? 10 millimeter, 30 out 6, or plain darts. No thanks. Yep, I don't need any of that. Alright. Just make my way around to the south dock and get out of here. And we'll call that a section. I hope Anna I think Anna talks to me right away when I land at Castle Clinton Battery Park. So I'll wait for her to f I'll get through the conversation with her. She'll run off, then I'll save and call it good. Skill points. 1,015. Alright. Yeah, we we're a ways off of 3,600. I'd sure like to find out what this was all about. Back to the south dock. We can talk to Corporal Collins one last time, and then as soon as we talk to the boat pilot, we're off. The boat's ready. From what I hear, the terrorists are pinned down in Battery Park. Good luck. Good luck. So again, make sure you bring two pieces of food with you when you leave. I have two candy bars, that'll work. Well, let's head out. Alright, let's go. The terrorists are in a fighting retreat. A few have barricaded themselves inside Castle Clinton. Lead the way. Our orders are to locate a barrel of ambrosia they are hiding inside. I will give you a schematic of the barrel, but first we will exterminate the NSF terrorists. Exterminate? A precious opportunity we cannot neglect. What about the rest of the shipment? That is your brother's assignment. You will take the subway to meet him in Hill's Kitchen. But first, we should deal with Castle Clinton. Are we going in the front, or is there another way? A secondary entrance would be useful, but I am aware of no such thing. So when she's done, our new secondary goal, who knows why it's secondary, is locate the stolen barrel of Ambrosia in Castle Clinton. If we look at our images, we have an Ambrosia flyer. Ambrosia. 20 cc equals one dose, effective 48 hours. 67 by 46 by 46 millimeters. Warning, Ambrosia is a non-organic compound containing eutactic components administer only in verified cases of gray death. So she runs off. So we'll let her, and I will make a save here at the start of Battery Park. And that's it for now. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex. I'll see you next time where we'll tackle Battery Park. That's it for now. Bye-bye.